What is going on guys? It's Clean Touch Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to apply textures to text in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and begin. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be creating this effect that you see here, which is my thumbnail. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this exact thumbnail, which is, in other words, all you're going to see in this case is this right here, which is pretty cool. It's a little nice effect, I guess. Uh, just comment below or leave a rating. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're going to be creating uh, this text with a texture on top of it. So it's very easy. So simply go over to your document or create a new document, uh, 1280 by 720 white background. And we're going to go ahead and apply our text. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, double click our background layer to unlock it. So double click here, give it a name. I'm going to name this uh, BG and then that's great. So now we're going to go ahead and change our color. So I already have this set, it's 1A1717, um, or just choose like a lighter black color, so it's so not, so it's not a boring black, and this way um, you will like, you will be able to see the texture, the background texture, so that's a good thing, because if it's all the way black, you won't be able to see it, so I'm not trying to be racist or anything. <laughs> so hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and press Delete, and that will fill it with black. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and apply or we're going to go ahead and uh, add our text. So press T for the shortcut. And we're going to go ahead and use the text Gotham Ultra Regular. Now this font is not for free. Um, so I'll post the link for that in the description for you guys to check out. But if you guys uh, want to download it for free, then somebody will help you in the comments. So anyway, so this is the font I'm going to be using. Now you want to use a font that's thick. The, the typeface is thick. That way you'll be able to see all the texture. So I'm going to be using Gotham. So I'm going to use white. So it's a contrast color between black. And I'm going to go ahead and type in um, tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger. And I'm assuming you guys already know how to make it, uh, how to resize. If you guys don't, hold Command T or Control T on a PC. And then hold Shift. Because if you don't, it's going to, um, it's going to really sh uh, warp your text. It's going to make it look all weird. So hold Shift and then click in any of the corners and drag outwards or inwards to make it bigger. Cool. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and center our text. If it's not centered perfectly or if you want to center it perfectly, make sure you have your text background layer selected or your uh, text layer selected and hold Command or Control on a PC. Select our background layer. So now they're both selected and go over to the top and you're going to see this little uh, icon here, this little tool. And that will align it horizontally. So click on that and then click this one right here and that will align it vertically. So now once we've done that, it's going to align it perfectly to our background. Now we have to apply our texture. So I provided you guys a download link for this uh, PSD file. Link will be in the description for you guys to check out. And so I'm going to be using book in this case, by the way, there's a lot of textures that you could use. So uh, feel free to play around with these textures if you guys don't want to use this one. But in this case, I'm going to be using this one. So it's called book. We're going to go ahead and drag that texture over on top of this. So hold command A or control A on a PC and make sure uh, that no other layers are selected besides our background. That really doesn't matter. Uh, but make sure our texture is selected. Press Command C or Control C, and then go back to our uh, to our document here, and then press Command V to paste it in or Control V. Now we're going to zoom out using Command Y or com Command Plus or Control Minus on a PC, and we're going to go ahead and uh, resize this because this texture is very large for the uh, convenience of resizing and making it look nice. So that's a cool thing. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and press command enter or double click and that will apply it. Now as you can tell there's the texture applied it to our whole entire image so that applied it to our background and our text but we only want to apply our texture to the text and not our background. So to do this simply I'm going to go ahead and change the texture layer. I'm going to rename it to texture. So this is our texture here and we're going to go ahead and create a clipping mask. The difference between a cl uh, clipping mask and a quick mask is uh, if a clipping mask, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Right click on our texture layer anywhere in the empty area and go over to create clipping mask and that will create a clipping mask to the bottom layer which is our tutorial. So make sure that's that the bottom layer 
is tutorial or your text layer. So now you could freely move, resize, do anything that you want, and that will pretty much hide it. So it's kind of like a mask, pretty much. And if we were to use the quick mask tool, let me show you guys how, to, how that's going to work out. If I uh, want to use the quick mask tool, I, have, I would have to hold command and then click our text. So we would use our texture layer on our texture layer. We're going to hold command or control and then click the icon here, the T. And that will select our texture or our text, my bad, sorry. And then we're going to click right here and that will um, that will add a layer mask. So if you click on that. You can't move it anymore. It's set and done. You can't resize it any. You can't resize it at all. So that's that's kind of a no one really uses it that way for this at least. So uh, the the clipping mask tool is the best in my opinion. So right click on our texture, create clipping mask, and you're done. Now you of course you could always add more textures to your uh, to your text. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to add. Um, I'm gonna add. Let's see. I'm going to add scratch stone and I'm going to paste it right on top of that. Again, make sure you resize your texture because it's going to be very large. So just keep that in mind. So that looks good. Um, now, again, if you want to uh, add a clipping mask, all you have to do really is click and drag this in between our texture layer and our text layer. And now I'll add it as a clipping mask as well. So I'm going to name this texture two, and now you have this right here which makes it look even better now to make it look even to make it look phenomenal I'm gonna create a uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna add another texture for a background so film grain light is the one I'm gonna be using hold command a and command C and then to copy it or control C and I'm gonna paste that to our background so now you can't really see it so I'm gonna go ahead and resize this just a bit here as you can see uh, so that looks good and once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and you can see that it created a clipping mask and we don't want to do that we want to drag this to the very bottom so now it's not a uh, texture so you can see we've got that to that so if this video helped you at all then please leave a rating below um, you know a rating will be much appreciated comment below for a video suggestion and um, yeah, so again, you guys can really customize this however you want. This is just a pretty much a basic tutorial on how to apply textures to text. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.